Okay, here we are with Andrea Feluga of the Feluga, Livio Feluga Winery. Produced many great wines, but perhaps the most famous is Picolit, a wonderful sweet wine. Andrea, tell us what are the characteristics of the Picolit grape? Uh, it's difficult to say with my English, which is really poor, but let me try to do it. Uh, it's a unique grape. Uh, it's uh, Picolit, it's not only a great wine, but it's really a cult wine. In, in Italy we used to say it's a myth, because uh, in fact almost disappeared uh, through the centuries, even if in the 1700s was the most famous wine from Friuli and was very well known and renowned all over Europe, in the kingdoms, in the courts of all over Europe. Uh, let's go straight to the point. Uh, the vine is affected by a genetic disease, and uh, before, because of, because, um, uh, th that's the reason why uh, blossoming is very difficult. So basically what happens is that Picolit has very few berries on the vine. As you can tell, there are very few grapes. Most grape bunches have about 200 berries. Picolit will only have 10 to 30, so it looks scrawny. And that's why it's called Picolit, from the word Piccolito or Piccolo, which means small. Andrea, what are the characteristics, though, of a good Picolit wine? What should the wine taste like? A little bit like Sauternes or different? Absolutely different because, uh, the, 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 I mean, Botrytis, we have a kind of uh, early stage of Botrytis sometimes, but that's not the key of the wine. Uh, we deal, we have the, the honor of growing a unique grape in the world, and so I think the goal of, uh, for us uh, Picolit winemakers is to really show the character of the, of the varietal. So, in the past, uh, some of us, myself as well, tended to produce too much concentrated wines, I think. We ended up making wine Pasito style, almost, and that was a waste, because uh, that was a way of uh, homologare, of uh, make... Uh, uh, of lose the character of the, of the variety. Because Picolit should be a generally light, sweetly light wine that can be a little richer too, but usually it's like a late harvest wine that reminds you of honey, it can remind you of candied figs, but it's a very delicate, beautiful wine that will go with uh, fruit tarts, for example, rather than thick custards. A very delicate, sweet wine that is really one of Italy's 10 most famous wines. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you very much. In fact, yes, figs, we like that, uh, figs, and, and you said um, dat, daters as well, but the most beautiful, the most, the better picolit, in my opinion, you should get lemon pea, lemon pea candied notes, uh, citrus notes as well. So, as you said, very elegant, very fine, uh, fi the fine nuances, are the, more, the most elegant nuances in the wine are very important. Thank, Thank you, Andrea. Thank you.